Okay guys, so WWDC 2024, the event is right around the corner. This is Apple's biggest software event of the year and as the day quickly approaches, we continue to hear more details as into what Apple is working on. So in this video, I wanna talk about some last minute and final leaks for iOS 18 and WWDC 2024. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay guys, so the first thing I wanna talk about is new hardware. Will Apple be announcing new hardware at WWDC 2024? Now obviously, over the past several years, we've seen Apple announce new hardware. Last year, we saw the introduction of the brand new 15-inch MacBook Air with M2, new Mac Studio. Obviously, the Apple Vision Pro was announced last year. Can you believe that? It's been a year since Apple announced the Apple Vision Pro. Well, this year, according to some of the latest reports, there will be no new hardware announcements whatsoever. So don't expect any new hardware at WWDC this year. It is set to be software-focused entirely. So iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, macOS, and of course, Vision OS 2.0 this year. It is crazy to think that this event, which will be at least two hours long, will be entirely focused on software. It means Apple has a lot to share this year. Now, obviously, iOS 18 is going to be one of the biggest focus at this event, and it is set to be one of the biggest updates in the iPhone's history. So I can't wait to see what Apple will be offering in terms of software this year for all their platforms. Now, we already know that Apple is working big on AI this year to integrate within iOS and the entire ecosystem of Apple products, and Apple has finally reached a deal with OpenAI to integrate ChatGPT into iOS and the entire Apple ecosystem, but this appears to be a temporary move until Apple can make Siri good enough, according to some of the latest reports. So as we continue to get closer to the release of iOS 18 Beta 1, we continue to hear some leaks and information in regards to some of the features that Apple is working on for iOS 18. Now, one of the latest reports suggests that the email application will get a lot better this year with iOS 18, helping you compose and reply to your emails directly for you using AI, obviously. So the email application may summarize an email for you and suggest a reply for that email. So it will compose the emails for you and auto reply if you wish to do so as well. Now, Apple is set to also announce a brand new application coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. One of the latest reports from Mark Gurman suggests that Apple is now working on a standalone password application. This application will be a new standalone application on your iPhone where you can store all of your passwords, all of your logins, rather is for a website, an application, your Apple keychain, or your pass keys. Everything in one place where you can manage all of your passwords. And obviously, this will be a standalone application directly competing with other services like LastPass and 1Password. This is going to be an Apple solution for all of your passwords in one place. And this should be a brand new application coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. Let me know what you think about this one. Now, we already know that Apple is planning big changes for the Messages application on iPhone this year with RCS support and many other features coming to the iPhone, but this latest report continue to build upon that. Apple is set to include emoji reactions for iMessages and finally, the ability to schedule a message to go out at a day and time, right? So you can schedule and pick a specific date and time to send a message. So new emoji reactions and message scheduling could be coming to the iPhone with iOS 18, aside from all the other features we've heard that Apple is already working on for the Messages app with iOS 18. Now, last but not least, if you love wallpapers, especially Apple wallpapers, it is rumored that Apple will now include a new retro wallpaper pack for iOS 18 and Mac OS 15. So for those of you that love wallpapers, especially retro Apple wallpapers, there will be an entire pack packed into iOS 18 and Mac OS 15 this year. So yeah, a lot of great news, a lot of last minute leaks and information. Make sure to stay tuned. Obviously, I will continue covering any last minute leaks and information right before the event. Now, before I let you guys go, I wanted to share this clip with you guys of a new glow in the dark mode. This has nothing to do with iOS 18 in general, but I just wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was genius. And if Apple brings us to the iPhone, I think it would be a great hit. So take a look here at this video where you can go into a glow in the dark mode, real dark mode for nighttime on the iPhone. I think it's a great idea. Let me know what you think about this one in those comments down below. I just wanted to share that one with you guys. I'll link everything in the description down below. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm super excited for iOS 18 and WWDC 2024, and I'll see you guys real soon.